Hello group late bloomers. This is your feedback for your group else assignment for module two. See that I have some information here added in blue and red. I'll go through those as we um, as I go through each of the questions. So question one, you have covered on what an account is. Question two, I just have some additive information here in blue. You have the contact defined, but just to add some information that there can be multiple contacts that show up under an account. So when you go into CRM, Typically, your account is going to represent your company, and then there could be you know, thousands of contacts underneath that company. A status you have uh, defined there, you know, the status itself defines really what the state of the record is. The status values are going to be what, what is the status, so active, resolved, canceled, in process, whatever it may be. You have question four on what a record is answered, question five. For question five, this, it could also mean that there's duplicate records or maybe the account has gone out of business. Those are just some additive examples of why you would want to deactivate a record. For question six, this one I would like you to just take a look at what assigning a record means again. This is in the reading that goes along with this group else project. Yes, assigning a record does involve some permission differences, but I would, I'm would i actually looking for something in particular. So if you go back to the reading, you'll find out exactly what, what I'm looking for here. But I would like you to, to take a look at number six again. Sharing and assigning, definitely different. Sharing, you can share the record with people. But what does assigning it mean? Um, so take a look at that. Question seven, activities. Um, so defining those. You have it defined. It is a mechanism for tracking interactions between customers in an organization. But I want you to provide me with some examples. What What is an activity? What can an activity be? Again, this is in the reading. I think there's like nine different types of activities that you can list out here. Just list a couple of them. Um, so if you could take a look at questions six and seven. Question eight, defining a note. Again, just some additive information here. You have this question spot on, but just wanted to add that it a note, it's not a universal piece of information, and it's something that you typically want. It wouldn't be information that you would use for reporting. So it may be a note on a contact that says, you know, this person's had issues with this contact forever. We've had issues with their account forever, so we want to give them some special attention. That's not something that you would actually want to track as a measurable, uh, measurable item that you would want to track on. Um, for question nine, um, Again, some additive information here for Outlook. Another main reason that people want to use the CRM additive feature in Outlook is because they spend a ton of time in Outlook already. So why not make it efficient to just have the CRM hooked right in? And then questions 10, uh, great job there. Definitely using it offline and then being able to synchronize it once you get back onto the network. Question 11 here, um, I would just like to see this expanded a little bit more. You know, the purpose for this question is really making sure that you're taking what you learned and applying it to a real life. I'm going to give you points for this one. Because you do have it covered, it's the customer to be able to track or follow up on a good. It definitely covers on the record standpoint and the status. Um, but I would like to see maybe some more integration of sharing or signing accounts or how, how an enterprise or you in your daily life or companies would actually utilize these these features and functions. So if you could make sure that you expand these um, going forward, um, or if you would like to take a stab at number 11 as well, I'd greatly appreciate it um, because I am going to ask you to go back and do number 6 and 7. So I won't give you points until I hear back from you that you are going to do revisions on this one. Again, this is pass or fail. So if you can give me a heads up on when you are done um, revising these, or if you're not planning on revising these, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will wait to hear from you. So thank you, and um, let me know if you have any questions.